Hey everybody, it's me Edward Jones, back with a new video, projection, defenselessness, and gun control. Uh, first, I want to big, give a big, uh, tremendous thank you to all my new subscribers. Um, after I've done a couple of videos on uh, Kyle Rittenhouse and, you know, the, the shooting that happened in Kenosha, um, I had a lot of new people um, come onto the channel. Um, I'm very happy about that. I uh, hope you guys enjoy the content. Hope you guys look, uh, check out my older videos and look forward to new videos to come. Um, oh yeah, and by the way, yes, I do keep a fire axe in my truck. <laughs> it's been it's been in the gun rack since uh, 2013. Um, it's one of the first the gun rack is one of the first accessories I had added to this truck when I was um, working on it um, originally. Still work on it from time to time. Just waiting for the uh, waiting for it to get cooler outside so I can work on the brakes. But uh, I want to do this video because I noticed something on um, a lot of like, articles and comments online. Oh, and please forgive me. I'm I just got out of class. I just got a welding class um, doing six doing six G uh, open root pipe. If you guys know what that is, um, you can. I'm pretty sure you can identify with all the slag and you know the sweating and everything. But it's fun. It's a lot of fun. I hope to get real good at it. But um, I noticed a lot of articles about um, about Kyle being out there. And a lot of people are saying, you know, he should have no business being out there, which I, I get this. I get I get where they're coming from. You know, it's we don't you know, we, we would hope that in our society we can, you know, be able to call on the police and have them, you know, deal with these kind of things. You know, have the, uh, the have local officials have plans set up to deal with um, insurrections, riots, uh, just, you know, wanting crime and things like that. And there's this trust in those institutions to be able to be, you know, be responsive, you know, to be, you know, to be there when, you know, when things go south. But as we've seen over the past couple of months, um, actually, I would say throughout history, I love history, and throughout history, you know, it's been proven. But definitely so in the last couple of months, the police cannot get to where you are in time. There was a Supreme Court case a long time ago, a Warren, a Warren versus D.C., where it was. It was, you know, stated that the police are not responsible for protecting individual citizens. They can only, they can only, they can only keep the peace in the broad sense. But they can't, you know, they don't. They, I mean, it's like if you're being attacked in front of the police, technically they don't have to intervene. All they have to do is uh, get information, you know, to, to fill out a report. Um, if they intervene, then that's, you know, that's 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 good. That's nice. One, that's nice from them. But they don't have to. And a lot of people are starting to realize that with all these, you know. Insurrection is going on. The cops aren't there to be found, or the police are there to hold the perimeter. But as we've seen in, like in Portland, in Seattle, uh, um, Kenosha, they've they've been told to stand down. So basically, what they're doing is, you know, basically, form like I said, forming form a wall between what's the the chaos going in one area and I guess some somewhat tranquil somewhat uh, tranquility in the other. But what's being shown is that a lot of people who constantly are going on about, you know, Kyle shouldn't have been there, you know, he was asking for trouble, I think a lot of them actually are projecting. And this and this is why I say that. What, uh, if you don't know what project, projection is, projection is basically where you assign blame or you assign you, you assign a particular attribute to another, to someone else or to something else because that's how you, that's how you actually are in your, on the inside. It's like relating this to gun control. Many people would say, that uh, oh people shouldn't have <laughs> oh people shouldn't have um, the public shouldn't have access to firearms or they shouldn't have access to particular types of firearms because they you know what if they go crazy and start you know shoot someone out of anger really when a person says that um, even though it's, it's it's been unfounded you know that for that to be a case in, in a majority in a majority of cases what a person is saying when they say something like that is in their head they know themselves well enough to know that if they had one in their possession. They would do some. They would do something irrational, like uh, shoot at someone in anger or go on a shooting spree. And instead of actually coming to terms with that part of themselves, they assign. They they pass that. They you know use a scapegoat. They, they assign that negative attribute onto some onto someone or something else, so that they can avoid dealing with their own problems. And the way I and relating that to you know this thing with uh, with Kyle. You know, many people are saying that, at least many people, as far as art, there are certain articles on, on online and um, you know, in comments, that things I've seen on uh, things I've seen like on Reddit. There are people blaming Kyle for the things that have, that have happened to him. You know, him having to shoot, you know, shoot three people. 
but they're not but they're not paying attention to the people who actually attack them in fact many of them actually just don't even mention it they don't they just dismiss it outright what they're saying is if they were in that if they were in a riot more than likely they will be the ones who would attack somebody who is trying to actually keep order because they cannot because they're not giving credit to someone who Albeit he was 17, you know, they're not giving credit to someone who actually stepped into a, a stepped into a chaotic situation um, and tried to you know and tried to do some good. You know, they won't give credit to someone doing good in an evil situation. So I think it's, I think it's either so I think it's either they would be the ones out there doing you know contributing to the chaos, or they would actually be cowering you know be cowering in fear. Now the latter is the latter is understandable because not everybody is uh, not everybody is built for you know, that, that kind of, that kind of situation. Not everybody's built to be, you know, going out there, um, with, with the same, kind of, with the same type of optimism that Kyle had to try to, you know, uh, protect property, maintain order, you know, help assist other people, put out fires, things like that. Not everybody would do, not, not everyone would do things like that. Um, there are many people who would stay out of it if they could. And including, there are many, there are many I've seen, like, I've seen in, um, like, some gun forums, like on, like on Reddit, again, they would. They have said that, you know, they, he should. You know, he should have stayed home. I mean, and I guess it's a it's a fair thing to say when you're when it's not happening in your neighborhood. Now, if what's happening, you know, if what's happening around where you live, around you, around where you work, I think your concern would would change because you have to think about well, if this goes, for, if this spills out from the res, you know, from the business sector, from the business section of the town to the residential areas where I live. Well, what am I going to do? Am I going to just stay home and wait to get to my doorstep, or am I going to be proactive and try to help people who have businesses out there, uh, or even or even maybe protect my own business? You know, my home is my home is kind of far away. From, you know, if someone said my home is far away from where the business district is, maybe I should go protect my business to keep other people. And I'll even help keep other businesses safe so that this whole thing doesn't spread. But instead, a lot of people would just stay home. And again, that's understandable. They're not you know they're not built like that. But what I don't like is, I don't like the, I don't like pointing fingers or assign, assigning uh, you know negative attributes to somebody who would actually go out there on behalf of someone else to protect the business or protect you know a neighborhood, poking fun at them, uh, saying they you know they look, they look like you know they like a joke, they, you know they look like you know they're all the right wing militia. It's, so what? They're out there doing some good in the middle of a chaotic situation. Why not give them the credit? Why not give them the credit that you know they're actually out there trying to do some good? You know, they're not gonna they're not gonna blame the rioters. They're not gonna pay them any attention because they either because either they would be out there doing it themselves or they could not confront a group like that. And they and, and in both instances they don't want they don't want to acknowledge those facts about themselves. They don't they don't want to acknowledge that truth. So they assign you know ad hominems or they assign blame or they assign you know some type of ulterior motive to someone who who is out there, whether it be Kyle. Or someone out there putting up, you know, someone, you know, trying to put out business, trying to put out the fires for businesses or things like that. They would, they would have claimed that they're out there looking for trouble because they're there. Well, technically, he actually, you know, Kyle and other people who are out there trying to do some good have a right to be there. Why is no one saying that the rioters don't have a right to be out there? I mean, they're the ones who are out there destroying, you know, destroying private property. They're the ones out there burning, looting, in a lot of instances, murdering people, attacking people. Why is no one getting on their case? Is because they're afraid to confront those type of individuals. It's like if they knew they had to face them, you know, in, in a physical confrontation, they wouldn't be able to do anything, or would they be, or would they themselves be out there doing all this chaos, you know? So they, and, and instead, like I said, instead of actually confronting a person, you know, a, a personal defect, I would say, they just blame someone else. They just point, you know, they, they'll insult somebody else. They'll uh, call them names. They'll, you know, they'll say they want, you know, they want them to be locked up. Well, wait a minute. I mean, I'm pretty sure these same people who would say they would want someone like Kyle locked up are the same ones that think that you know, the cops are getting out of hand. They want to defund the police. So that's going back to what I was saying. More than likely, if they want, if they want, if they want someone like Kyle locked up and they want the, the police to be defunded, it's because more than likely they'll be out there doing things that someone like Kyle or someone like the police would have stopped them. <laughs> so, and, and it's, so like it's, I look at that's how I look at it. You know, why else? Why else would you be? Why else would you want harm to come to somebody who is trying to do good? in a bad situation unless you think that there's something to profit from the bad thing that's going on 
or you're in, or, you know or you're you were in fact enjoying the bad things that are going on you want to see more destruction you want to see more destruction of property you want to see more pain and suffering and unfortunately that's that's not really that's not going to happen easily you know because there are plenty of people out there like Kyle that will go out there and defend prop defend not whether it be their property or other people's property whether it be defend themselves or defend other people you know they are they are out there America's full of those kind of people and it's starting and it's starting to show during all this chaos that's been going on that there are people who are there basically saying, no, I'm not gonna rely, I'm not gonna rely on the police to take care of me I didn't trust them I didn't I didn't trust the police with that with that kind of power in the first place so I should have been doing all I can to take care of myself and this is I guess this is just a perfect opportunity to you know to, to show that hey good people can do things during a chaotic situation they can bring peace and order whether they're wearing a uniform or not um, so that's this is the video I wanted to sh I wanted to make. I've I've always had this thing about people who want to dig on somebody for doing good in a chaotic situation. Now again, not everybody is doing it for they're not doing not everybody is doing it for nefarious reasons. Like I said, many people cannot they cannot process having to actually survive um, a, a particular situation like that. They couldn't see themselves in in that. So I mean, if they ever found themselves in the middle of a riot, they're going from white to black. You know, using using the Jeff Cooper scale, they're you know they're going to be they're going to be you know either fighting, flying, or surrendering. You know, or posturing. They, you know, they're going to be doing one of those four, but it's going to be uncoordinated. It's going to be you know not going to be very efficient, and it's going to be you know, uh, it's going to be chaotic in itself, just like the chaos is going on around them. Uh, while someone like Kyle was able to, uh, you know, he had he tried he tried to run, he, he compelled his own, and. You know, clear that jam. But I think it was, I think it was very impressive. While you know, while he was injured, you know, by the other people. So yeah, you're gonna have plenty of good people out there doing things, uh, things to help others during a time of chaos, during an insurrection, you know, during this, <laughs> during this madness. And so I, I would, and I, I'd say use that as a way to, um, way to preserve your hope and things being better in the future. Because you know, there are people out, there are good people out there. Hopefully, you know, good people watching this video. Who can see that there are people who aren't going to stand by and let the chaos, you know, take over? They're going to actually go out there and do anything. And they're not going to pay attention to the people who are projecting. You know, the people who actually would be out there either uh, causing more damage and more destruction, more death, or be out, or who be cowering under their desks because they can't, they can't face the realization: a hey, violence exists. You know, violent people exist. Evil people exist. But good people also exist, so you have to make it. So you have to decide which side you're going to fall on, or which side you're going to make make things easier for. You make things easier for evil people, or you're going to make things easier for good people. I, for one, want to make things easier for good people. I don't want to make things damn, damn very, damn near difficult for evil people to succeed. You know, so that's why I do videos like this. I say maybe it's maybe the least I can do, um, and at least you know, and encourage conversation. But that's my video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, Again, uh, check out my older videos on the ones I did covering um, covering Kyle Rittenhouse and the event that happened in Kenosha. Uh, on the updated video, there is a link to a uh, hashtag Fight Back. There's a link to a a, a, a fund, you know, a, a, basically a fund, kind of like a GoFundMe for him and his uh, his legal team because you know, he's he's going to be fighting for his life in this sense. But I think he has a good team to back him up. But you know, an extra dollar here and there is always good to have. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe. If you got any gripes, complaints, you don't project. Just send me a PM. I'll see what I can do to address them. But that's my video, projection and gun control and victimization. I hope I got that right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Edward Jones. You guys take care. Be safe. And God bless.